สวัสดีครับ Welcome to Phuket Extra brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. It's Wednesday, June 12th, and I'm your host JP Mistanza. Let's start with our top story. Prayu Chanocha, the man who has led the Thai government for the past five years, he was officially sworn in this week as the country's premier after being elevated to the role by parliament last week. His Majesty King Mahavajira Longkorn officially sanctioned the 65-year-old Prayut to serve as the kingdom's premier in a ceremony televised nationwide yesterday, which was attended by members of the ruling Palam Prachara Party and other members from the coalition, including Democrat Party Secretary General and Bumjai Thai Party leaders. In a statement following the ceremony, the Prime Minister says a new cabinet will be formed soon, while also thanking his supporters and vowing to perform his duties. Ethically and be a prime minister to all ties. During a helmet giveaway event earlier this week in Rawai, Mayor Arun Solos provided statistics that showed that in Phuket, only 18% of motorbike riders always wear helmets, compared with 43.7% nationwide. The event took place at the Muang Phuket School, just south of the Chelong Circle in Rawai, and was the result of a joint effort by Rawai Municipality and three Rotary Clubs in Phuket, including the Rotary Club of Andaman, the Rotary Club of Phuket, and the Rotary Club of Patong Beach. 350 helmets were given away to students from nine schools, thanks to funds raised by all three Rotary Clubs, with a donation from the Patong Beach Club raised through a memorial fundraiser in honor of the club's vice president and president-elect. Gary Moody, who passed away in January. During the event, Mayor Arun said the government wanted to increase helmet use by 20% to help reduce accidents, where he announced stats showing that in Phuket, 50% of people don't wear helmets at all, while 32% of people occasionally do. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Suspicious of a lack of action by Phuket authorities and even alleged tampering of evidence, local environmentalists have filed formal complaints against Trung Tele Tambon Administration Organization, uh, Oboto Chief Maan Samran, over the recently launched 355 million baht wastewater treatments spilling untreated wastewater onto the beaches. The complaints were filed last week by two men, acting as representatives of several local community groups, according to isranews.org, and it alleges malfeasance and possible corruption in the 355 million baht project to build the wastewater treatment plants at Surin and Bangtao beaches, which recently were confirmed to still be releasing untreated sewage onto the beaches. Despite a complaint having been lodged already at the National Anti-Corruption Commission Phuket office back on May 21st, they noted progress on that complaint has been slow. The two wastewater treatment plants came online at Surin and Bangtao in March of this year. The complaint also called for an investigation into the 12 million baht project to build a seawall at Surin Beach to prevent coastal erosion which stalled in November of 2017 after outraged locals staged a protest saying they were not informed of any public hearings held to approve that project. The progress on the seawall has not been made since. Phuket Extra will be right back right after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. A huge cache of illegal weapons, including 27 rocket-propelled grenades and 16 AKA rifles, they were discovered last Sunday in Surin and Siseke provinces, and the Deputy Commissioner of the Royal Thai Police says an ex-cop is behind it all. The cache of weapons were found at two locations 11 kilometers apart on Sunday, one in a pond in Surin and one in an irrigation canal in Siseke province, with the weapons including the aforementioned grenades and rifles, along with 24 rounds of ammunition for M79 grenade launches, 700 bullets for assault rifles, 48 detonation caps, and 130 magazines. Reports say the weapons were all in good condition and Police General Srivara Ransi Baramanakul says they are similar to those that were used in previous registered demonstrations, adding that they tracked them to a former police officer who later became an illegal logger and they're now looking to arrest him. Authorities have now ordered security to be stepped up in Bangkok for the next few weeks where the ASEAN summit is set to take place on June 22 and 23. 
A majority of respondents in an online poll by the Phuket News is calling for officials to install solid lane dividers in Chalong underpass in order to make it safer. After nearly four years of construction, the Chalong underpass finally opened on May 31st with intermittent lane closures to allow workers to complete the finishing touches. But now with the underpass being the only one on the island with a curve in the tunnel, which reduces motorist range of visibility, the Phuket News asked readers what should be done with the current dedication of traffic flow through the Chalong underpass in order to make it safe. A clear majority of respondents, 59%, they voted, quote, to keep the tunnel two ways, but install solid dividers to help prevent head-on collisions. Meanwhile, 19% of respondents voted to ban all heavy vehicles from using the tunnel, while 10% voted to, quote, do nothing. It's already as safe as it should be. For the full poll results, visit thepukanews.com, but feel free to add your comments below to let us know what you think. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. We'd like to get your feedback on any of the news you just watched, so drop us a line in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching, and until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. Visit us in Patong or InkInAsia.com.